September's been such a busy month with Father's Day and the footy season wrapping up. It's inspired me to show you a recipe that the men in my family love and I adore it too. Sticky beef ribs with smoky chickpeas. Ask the butcher for these asado cut short ribs. I think they work best because they're so meaty. Into a saucepan, we start to make the master stock. One cup of soy sauce, a cup of shouncing wine, sliced ginger, a piece or two of orange peel, a cinnamon stick, 10 coriander seeds, and four whole cloves. Put in our ribs and put in just enough water to cover them and then simmer them for about two hours until the meat is really, really tender. And that will give us time to make our chickpeas. I'm using Pankara from the Clear Valley and they'll have a beautiful smoky flavour from Barossa speck and some smoked paprika. Warm some olive oil and fry the speck and onion until it's nice and soft. Then add a bay leaf, sage and some rosemary leaves. Pop in a teaspoon or so of smoked paprika and some chopped tomatoes with all their liquid. Now, for sweetness, add some molasses, apple cider vinegar, chilli, as much as you like, and salt and pepper. The exact amounts are all in the recipe. Cook that until most of the liquid has evaporated and then add the cooked chickpeas and cook until it's all quite dry. Your end result will look like this. Now, I said these ribs were sticky and that's because we glaze them with a lovely marinade made with ketchup manis, some sesame oil and some chilli paste and then a splash or two of shaoxing wine just to loosen it up a bit. Brush or spoon it onto our cooked ribs and then into the oven 180 for about an hour or until it starts to crisp up. Now you'll find that the smokiness and sweetness of this dish goes perfectly well with a cold beer. So why not treat yourself to an interesting South Australian boutique one, like this one while you're at it. I like to serve these on the chickpeas. Oh my goodness, what a marriage made in heaven. Now, pour on a little bit of the extra glaze and sit back and wait for the applause. You can download this recipe from our website and don't forget, in this month's SA Life magazine, as always, lots of wonderful recipes using lovely South Australian produce.